prior to the war, um, you know, how much they enjoyed playing there and what a great country it is. Uh, well, was at that point in time, still is, um, although things have changed. And yeah. and I guess probably I would cap it off at the end by asking you in terms of what's your, what is your level of, of, of being aware of having played there, you know, just the impact on things that you might have seen um you know on the news recently and be like i played there and or that if you've got teammates that are uh still from there and how they're doing so i know i just asked you basically a, a 10 minute question there but it's a lot to unpack. I, got it, I got it all for you but 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 uh there there you go if you can also explain the war situation how it evolved you know that's cool too no i'm just kidding but um you know how you wind up being there at that particular moment in time and what your experience was and and how you're looking back on it now as uh events have unfolded it's so weird. I feel old because when I went to Ukraine my second year, I was at the end of the first Russian Ukraine war. So now as I watch this this year, I'm like, it's happening again. But so going back to my second year, I finished Lithuania for the BBL championship to make the playoffs. Everyone thought we would never make the playoffs. We go to game three, we lose. I missed the shot. Okay. <laughs> so we go to summertime and uh, Justin's giving me my options my agent is giving me my options and um at this time ukraine was strong they had great players they were doing well in europe um the war just happened and i'm i'm in the second half of the war so i said you know i'm gonna go to ukraine i signed i went to a great team uh kimiki kimiki usually um the craziest thing happens to me so i go upstairs i'm in my uh, wife's parents house before we were married my agent calls me so I got this great deal for you so okay let's do this so I go upstairs I go on the Mac computer I'm signing my name on the contract check this out I'm signing my name on the contract I'm excited everyone's downstairs her uncles her aunts her cousins they have no party I come downstairs everyone's sitting at the table like I got great news I got my second contract um I'll be going to Ukraine. My wife is still working at Chase Bank at this time. So I know she's gonna come to visit me in Christmas. We already got this all planned out. You know, this is supposed to be happy. Her dad loves to watch CNN. The TV is facing his back. I'm facing the TV. Breaking news. He turns around. Russia shot a plane, commercial plane out of the air over Ukraine. I literally, 30 seconds, just told them I signed to Ukraine. He turns around and looks at me, like put a hole in my chest. He's like, my daughter will not be visiting you to there. I'm like, I'm like stunned. I run upstairs, I call my agent. I can't go here. Did you see what just happened on the TV? There's no way I get there. I don't care about the money. If I can't get on the ground to make the money, who cares about it? Like, I'm freaking out. I'm going crazy. He's like, calm down. What just happened? I'm like, go turn on the news. He sees it. He's like, holy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you right now. Hold on one second. Like, he, so he gets on the phone with the president and the uh, GM of the team. So they're like trying to reassure me, like, don't worry about it. Like, this is not in this part of Ukraine. It's no at big this, deal. Moment, <laughs> yeah. At, at, th at this moment, this is all of Ukraine to me. You know what I mean? CNN said Ukraine, shout out commercial plane over Ukraine. I'm like, I don't care where I land. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the ground. I'm gonna get in there and that's it. So I tell them like, hold on. Like, I remember I send the paperwork in, like I'm signed, do click, send everything. So I wait a couple of days, uh, I talked to the owner. He called me himself, the GM called me. So, okay. So I get there, I'm on the, I'm, I'm, Google mapping everything. Like, where did this happen? Where did this happen? Where's my location? So I'm on the southern border next to the water. All of this is happening on the eastern border, just like it is now in Donetsk. It's the same situation that's going on. So where I'm at, you couldn't tell there was war. You can't tell. Um, we put together a great team. I came in as the leader. Um, guys naturally looked at me that way. We had, we had the craziest season ever. We went undefeated. Um, we basically put together a Euro Cup team 
not knowing if we were going to play Euro Cup or not knowing if other teams would even have a bunch of Americans in the league because this is the second half of the war. So all my teammates, they're showing me, like when we go to Kiev, we go to the capital, they're showing me it's deserted, what, what it used to look like, everything. So I'm like, Man, this is crazy. Long story, we undefeated the championship game. We wind up playing a team on the Eastern border in the championship. So here goes my panic again, of course. I'm like, all right, I, I don't wanna go there. 10 hour bus ride. So we win the first game at home. It's the best of three, we win the first game. We wanna close out there. Like we don't wanna come back. We don't want nothing like, we want to finish this to get the season over with. So we drive there 10 hours, we're on a bus. When you get close, not, not to the Eastern part, when you get close to the Eastern part on the expressway, there's tanks set up and there's barbed wire with the, like the wood pieces stuck up so you can't drive through, like you have to stop. So we stopped like four times and it was the same thing. German Shepherd, machine guns, let me see a passport. Same thing, four stops in a row. Remember, it, it's, I don't know how to explain it. When you wake up and it's a soldier on the bus with a machine gun across his chest in the front of the bus, and you're like, what is going on? And they like, give me your passport. You look out the window, the dog is sniffing under the bus. The dog is, they open up the luggage part. He's sniffing in there. I'm like, yeah, we got to go win this basketball game, man. That was, that probably was my scariest moment of my career was we'll seeing that. So harping back to, even right now, me watching it happen again, and now I'm like really close with my former teammates from eight years ago. It sucks, man. I, I, I talk to those guys all the time. Um, I'll see some of them in Euro Cup. I give them a big hug, but because I haven't seen them since. But Ukraine was a, a crazy situation, but we got it there good. We had an undefeated season, and we also won the championship. Hello, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, you can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.